and welcome to a quick update video on the uh, uh, money add-on for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, I recently did a video looking into this because, you know, one of the uh, one of my subscribers that uh, made a comment about it on my Super Flat Add-ons video, and, and I thought, oh, I'll take a look into it. And I wasn't a big fan of it because it was basically too easy to get jet diamonds from it. Um, so they've they they have made some good changes in this add-on, but uh, let's get into it. So they changed it so that now you have to uh, buy an overall gold, which yeah, that's not too bad because uh, and that's that's not really that bad of a change. Just raw gold, you can't farm raw gold. You can farm gold ingots using like never portals and all that to spawn in the zombie pigmen, uh, but you can't farm raw gold itself. So it's more difficult to get, but yeah. Uh, so you can you so they've got the uh, and they've changed these up a little bit. So you've got the spore block trader, uh, so they've got the block trader, the ore trader, the ATM, the coin machine, and gem trader. Uh, and you, they've also added silver coins. Uh, they've still got gold coins and notes, and you got a stack of gold ingots a block now as well. Oh wait, yeah, they had that before. And they've also added a money bag, which basically just holds some money. Um. So we'll probably take a look at that later. So basic. So first here, we've got this. So one stack of stone, dirt, sa or sand to get one silver coin, which I think is fair because uh, that means you, you need four silver to get one gold coin. And in my opinion, four stacks of uh, dirt is equivalent to a diamond. So that's... So, you know, if you could like, get four... Four stacks dirt and then convert that to a diamond. That that would be fair. And using uh, and uh, that and then you got like sixty four grass for two, sixty four grass, mm. never rack and end stone for two. That's uh, fine, I guess, because it's like you need to touch to get grass. You need to go to the never to get to never rack, and it just gives it some sort of use. And end stone to get end so, and it's not even that much more. So they're all fairly difficult to get, and then you. But then you have like andesite, diorite, and granite and gravel for free mm. gold coins, not silver gold coins. Like now, to be fair to them, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that this was a mistake, and this was supposed to be silver coins and not gold coins, because otherwise that just that's just like way way too much. And so I'm going to be kind and say that. You know, it was just a mistake and it's supposed to be silver. But even then, even if they were still silver, that's too much in my opinion. Because, mm. yes, granite, diorite, and andesite mm. are more rare than stone, cobblestone, dirt, and sand, if you're in the desert. They're still not that super rare. I'd probably say, like, have them maybe, like, a stack for two... Uh, silver coins, or maybe half a stack for one silver coin. Well, yeah, no, that's that's basically the same thing. Or maybe like uh, mess around with it. So maybe not half a stack, but like three quarters of a stack for a silver coin, or, uh, or two silver coins or something. I don't know. But they, they I, there's some like uh, basically, basically what I'm trying to say here is that they're in between these three and these three. They're more valuable than these three, and they should have also added cobblestone here. Actually, stone, by the rules, with grass being the, the more rare than the worth one more silver coin than there, because you need silk touch to get grass, then mm. stone should be worth two, because you either need silk touch or a furnace and smelt it, and, which, and that would add more value to it. Uh, because if you're smelting, if you want to smelt 64 of any item, and assuming you're using uh, coal, which smelts eight items per, that's eight coal, so, and obviously a bunch of time, so I'd say yeah, that's fair to put that, put that in two, uh, and then replace that with cobblestone. Uh, gravel should be in one, because if sand's there, because you can get a bunch of gravel, especially if you go to the level, that's like, dig around for a bit, and you'll get a ton of gravel, and there's also like, entire like, Areas just like like gravel mountains where you can get tons and tons of gravel, and then sixty four obsidian for six gold coins. Yeah, that seems fair. Uh, because obsidian is very very well, it's not difficult, but it's well in large quantities it is because it takes a long time. 
And uh, um, unless you're going to the end, with you're, you are going to be working around lava. So, yeah. Uh, then, uh, that's, uh, then here we have the ore trade. So you get gold ore, one gold for one note, three... Oh, pardon me. Three redstone for one note, seven copper for one note, nine iron for one note. Like, why is it nine iron and seven copper? Copper is way more common than iron. Why is it cheaper? So, no. Uh, iron should be, like, switch those two values around, maybe. But iron should not be more, should not be less valuable than copper. Uh, 14 coal for a note. One lapis for one note. But here, here we have a diamond ore. Now, if you didn't know, the two rarest and naturally spawning blocks in Minecraft is regular diamond ore and deep slate emerald ore. And they want to, they want you to trade the second rarest block in the game for five notes. When you could get five notes from trading a deep slate diamond ore and you could get, and, you, and again, deep slate emerald. The rarest block in the game. Nine, one, no, nine notes, same as a regular emerald ore. No, regular diamond ore should be worth way more because it is way rarer. Like, a stack of that? I don't know, it's just way rarer than uh, that. And uh, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, and all the deep slate variants are the same as the regular variants. It's like, no. Like, this should, I don't know if, uh, uh, if any of these are particularly rarer. I think. Deep slate copper is rarer than deep slate a uh, regular copper because I think uh, it doesn't. There's not many layers of deep slate that can spawn. I could be wrong on that. Don't uh, quote me on that. And same with and like I think uh, regular redstone is rarer than deep slate redstone. Don't know about gold. Don't know about iron. And don't know about coal. I, I, if I had to bet, I'd say yeah, regular coal is rarer than deep slate coal. And I don't know about lapis. Uh, here we have the ATM, I'll show that off later when I actually have some money. And then here we have gold coin for four silver coins, four gold for a note, 16 silver for a note, 36 silver for a stack of silver coins, 36 gold for a stack of gold coins, four silver for one gold, one note for four gold coins, one note for 16 silver coins, one stack of silver coins for 36 silver, one stack of uh, gold coins for 36 gold coins. So, have you noticed where they basically ruined this entire add-on? No, they uh, removed the diamond trade, so you can't convert any of this currency into diamonds. And that basically makes this entire add-on worthless. Like, why would you bother trading any of these in the, for the uh, coins or notes when it's a dead end then? You can't trade them back into ore blocks, you can't do anything with them. Why? You can't trade them to diamonds. Like, 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 why? What, what they should have done is they should have been like, okay, one note is worth one diamond. And that mean, and then one, and then like one gold coin is worth one quarter of a diamond. And the one silver coin is worth one sixteenth of a diamond. And then, uh, price each block in Minecraft accordingly. But no, it's like, nah, let, let's remove pet, remove it uh, from uh, that. Right, so this is like, if I were to create the surreal world, it would be like when the when governments, so basically if you know, currency in the real world used to be pegged gold. Um, and this is basically what they did it with the money, it was bit, the, all the money was basically pegged to diamonds. You knew that uh, you could, like, uh, if you had the X amount of money, you could trade that it, that money in for a diamond. Something that is useful and uh, uh, desired by uh, every player, basically. Um, that's what gave it its value. But and uh, so this is like if in real life, um, when the governments peg, so in real life, when the governments stopped pegging their currency to gold. They saw, uh, it's a bit hard to explain because again I am going into economics and I could probably get this quite wrong, but to my understanding they basically said, um, well so basically the reason why coins have a value is because they're made of metal that is, that is at the actual value of, uh, you know, the, the metal, the raw metal itself is the value of the coin. 
and notes is basically the government's promise that they that uh, they will give you uh, that value in your in coins. So say you have ten pounds. That's that's a that's basically an IOU for from the government for say you could like trade that in for metal, which has actual value. But this would be like if the government uh, um, if the government was like now nah, ha- take this paper money. It's completely worthless. You can't do any. You, you, I, we're not going to give you like any anything of any real value because because none of this is of any real value because you can't take these notes. You can't take these coins and uh, make them into like swords or armor or anything. That's what gives diamonds its value or make stuff out of them. So yeah, this entire add-on is basically worthless. Like there, there is no reason for for anybody to abandon uh, a dime, diamonds as a currency to go with this. Because if if they had uh, did what I said earlier and said, okay, one diamond is worth one note, and then uh, valued everything accordingly to that idea, then this would have a have a value because then you could uh, uh, repl- you could effectively re- effectively replace it because then you could have. Stuff you can sell, you can sell stuff that in like fractions of a diamond. So, like I said, uh, usually if I'm selling dirt, I'll sell like four stacks of dirt for one diamond. But uh, then you could instead do it, but if you had this, you instead of like selling it for one diamond, you could sell it for like the equivalent amount of like silver coins, so like or one gold coin. So, yeah, for one gold coin, and then uh, uh, then uh, people wouldn't, wouldn't have to buy uh, dirt in the bulk. Well, can the could basically do that with everything, uh, and it would basically this would basically help with like um, inflation and uh, Minecraft inflation with like diamonds rarity being messed with by Mojang and then be, then give it being a uh, given that you know more things you can uh, it would make it more easy for people uh, to readjust their value ha- you know what they're selling uh, their stuff for. Um, and, uh, you know, but it would basically, you know, uh, it would basically add, add, add another way of, you know, do, doing currency, but outside of roleplay, there is no use for this anymore. Um, but yeah, uh, might as well just show you what, um, this does. So if I go to here, can I trade, yeah, I can trade this in for a bunch of gold coins and some money. So I get a money bag. So you place it down, you put your money in. And then you shift punch. And it. Yep, yeah, you carry your money around with you. Yeah. And it does and it does and then you can also like put it into an ATM, apparently. Don't know how. Uh also, if you shift right click, it picks. You can pick them up. Oh, you can place these down. Then that was probably in the last update. I'm just doing that. I don't know how you're supposed to be able to place money into the ATM. I, I do not. Oh, there we go. You punch it. Deposit money. One note. Submit. No. There you go. And then I can deposit all twelve. Uh, do you want to proceed? Yes. Can I, can you deposit, yeah, you can't deposit coins, you can only deposit notes. So I'm guessing then if I, uh, give at P ATM, and I assume that if I go to an, you could go to an, have an, another ATM at your shop, and then you could, like, withdraw money. Oh, you can do, uh, you can even, like, convert it into, uh, a 10 note, that's cool. So you have a more note variety than just the one note. Ah, I don't have enough money. Uh, if I just give myself a bunch of all gold, and eat a bunch of money. Oh, why did it? Why did I do the bar? Punch. Uh, deposit. One note. 
Uh, I'll keep one on me. I want to deposit 31. There we go. Yes. And then punch. Withdraw. Let's withdraw five notes. I can show that off. See it? We have a one note. A five note. And a ten note. And the, the yeah, and this, uh, and this was so close to me, like, so, basically, how, okay, so how would I fix this? So, firstly, um, make it so that you, so either make it so that you uh, can, uh, you know, so rebalance the ore trades, because they, def they desperately need rebalancing, and then make it so you can trade, uh, you know, trade it in inverse, so, like, can trade one note for one gold ore, uh, and then have another. Uh, so this is the block trader to have like a block. Oh, that also needs rebalancing and add and add more blocks into there. But add uh, a block seller so you can buy. That would like uh, you know you could buy blocks from it, uh, and uh, you could also probably have it so that they uh, ha they have cross functionality with the ATM so that if you have money in your ATM, then you can buy stuff from them. Um, but yeah, and then uh, and also they also add a uh, an item that lets you uh, modify the value of items and maybe even add value of items uh, if you can. Um, but, and yeah, and uh, because yeah, and then I maybe have like another. Uh, one that's uh, that to let you buy items from them and sell it, and one that lets you sell items. Uh, so like, so uh, so like you could sell like um, I don't know, food, buy and sell food and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, maybe do that. Well, hmm. no, nah, maybe not that one because it because then I would basically make uh, multiplayer shops. Uh, not very useful. Well, you could add that as well for single player. You want to just make it so that um, moderators can disable it uh, uh, because we have seen uh, multiple um, add-ons have fe have features being uh, uh, ha have the ability to disable features. Um, but yeah, right now it is this add-on is complete unless you're doing role play or one of these for like decorations. This is completely useless. Like, there is n literally no point to using this add-on whatsoever. So yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next uh, video. And bye-bye.